This poem is called Bad Times. I can't stand it, a tribute. Bad Times by Captain Rap. And what a classic from the days of the great band Zap. It takes you through times that we are living. Built in the year of 1983, it's lyrics still relevant today for all to see. Some lines with a message that is so clear. By the courts are saying, some we told you so. You're a menace to society of threatened danger. We sentenced you to die to death for gas chamber. The man said you can't take a life for a life. The only real judge is the almighty Christ. The storm was so the test of time, year after year. So sad that its message is so strong and still so clear. The world threatened by nuclear war. But these are not just the things of the past that we saw. These things are part of today's reality. World leaders so crazy and full of insanity. Some lines with a message that is so clear. You pulled out a knife and you cut her real tough. She was murdered on the street short of time. Another little old lady, a victim of crime. Bad times, these are for real. Bad times is what you and I feel. This is a classic rap from the days of my youth. Sneaking into nightclubs, listening to music that taught you the truth. Soul and rap so sweet to hear that made your life complete. But today's art is spilling out crap that makes so many follow like sheep. Today, so much music is destroying lives. It's painful, makes you want to cry. Bad influence making so many commit crime and others it sends them to die. This ain't no joke or a news hump. This is no rerun, as this time it's with Boris and Trump. Some lines of the message that is so clear. Begging reads Megan Camp David Accord. And they say Reagan will run in 84. Bad education is just a revelation, but still each year kids regretting graduation. Messages about worldwide fear from the 80s long ago. Will we heed them or do we allow our governments to make it so? Many rappers turned by the law of rags to riches, not celebrating kings and queens, basically calling the mothers hoes and bitches, a world ravaged by corruption and abuse, many a life ruined by folks and drug abuse, hard to get a job to make a living, we've got so many people dying, doing wrong, and our youths they are killing. Some lines with a message that is so clear. The world sends out a hunger plea. Teenagers on a loose sexual child abuse. The Bible tells us it's just a prophecy. Bad times. These are for real. Bad times is what you and I feel. Step up people and stay woke. We've got to fix the world because it's far too broke. Bad times, serious lines and serious rhymes. Without a doubt, brothers and sisters. Peace out. This poem was called, I Looked Down the Line and I Wondered. I looked down the line and I wondered. I wondered about how quick the line will move today. Yesterday and the whole week before were not good days for some, as despite the best efforts of the Black Panther Movement's food program, they were not able to feed everyone. People went hungry, men, women, and worst of all, the children. I could hear the pain of mothers and fathers as they walked away, trying the best to explain to a six-year-old, a five-year-old, a four-year-old, teenagers, twins, brothers and sisters, that we're not going to eat that evening. Many of the faces were etched deeply with the lines and marks of woody, of once beautiful, pious and graceful look and learned faces, now reduced to a look of hopelessness, mixed with a small amount of hope. That hope was to keep them going each morning, kept them going just enough to know that they had to do better, that they had to find a way out, that they must find a way out, a way out of having to stand in this line each day. But in order to do that, they'd need to be able to find work, we all knew that due to segregation having only ended on paper, that in practice, we were still denied the dignity of being able to work and then a decent living which allowed us to survive. Right now, all we did was exist. The thought of survival seemed somewhat a luxury and to live, well, that was part of the American dream, which we all knew too well it was a living nightmare for black folks. If you were fortunate enough to live that dream, there was always that downside and terrible reality of having to wake up in the morning and face the cold and stark reality of life in Oakland, which not many having jobs and an income worthy of our humanity. Segregation was over for some five years now. Malcolm was murdered some four years ago, and it was a year to the day they murdered Martin too. However, today things are looking up. As although we were last in that line, my worry was over and we was able to get food today, at least we knew we had a good meal to look forward to. We did know, and we never forget, that it's been a long struggle, and there'll be many a year left still of this struggle before we'll be able to not only taste good food, but truly taste freedom. One day there would be one death too many, and black people will say, enough is enough. And I will welcome that day, 
And I hope if not, I, but my children will live to see it happen. It could be tomorrow. It could be next week or next year. Maybe we'll have to wait over 50 years, but that day will come.